Hello everybody! Today we are going to learn how to make a Korean side dish, Kodungo Gui. Kodungo is mackerel. You can grill or you can fry or you can roast this one. You have to uh, remove the intestines, right, innards. So I use this way. Ooh, some disgusting things are coming out. So I'm going to okay, remove this way. That's it. And so first around is the head part. So put this your knife like this. Almost to touch the your cutting board like this. And cut this really lengthwise that way. Yeah, so we just <laughs> make it really flat. See? Are you afraid now? This is the way we just uh, cook this. So um, this this is too huge. So I'm going to cut this in half, half size. Okay. So all just this you know intestine we are going to remove. Fish head, you can simply just cut it here like this. This is kosher salt. Kosher salt. One and a half tablespoon I'm going to use. Okay, good. First, first I'm going to show you how to fry this kodunga. A little bit of flour, so sprinkle some flour on the skin, both sides. Heat the pan around two tablespoon uh, grapeseed oil, or you can use vegetable oil. And I'm going to show another way. So now I've just heated my broiler here. I use a little bit vegetable oil, like rub this on the skin too. Like this. So let it cook. Okay, around three minutes later. Just turn it over. And lower heat. Okay, done. Wow, it's done. Good. Flip over. Wow, looks good. This is the oinenku, cold cucumber soup for side dish. And this uh, shaved ice. Oh my god, looks so good. So instead of kimchi, I feel like having this oinenko. This is a fried one, we used some flour. And this is just uh, roasted. And then I used a little bit like oil on the both sides. This is uh, a little bit barley rice. I made this barley rice. Mm. 
so good. Delicious. Hmm. You hear that crunchy sound? Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye-bye.